how, how good do you think he could be? And, and where do you, in, with his development, do you see him moving in centrally to maybe be, I don't know, number six like Rodri or number eight like Gundogan? How do you view him? Yeah, I can play in every position. So, so smart. I said many times, the players, when you ask to any player, what is your position? No, I play holding midfielder. No, I play winger. No, I play that. Rico play football. If you put in one position, he knows exactly what he has to do. It's so intelligent. So, and you know, it's playing because it's playing really good. So the game against Inter again, against Chelsea when we play. So all the games have played so far, always have been really, really, really good. So that's why I think honestly he deserves the minutes that he's he has. I think you once said you'd, you'd like to have ten Fernandinho's. I think because he could play in. So is, he, is that sort of your ideal for football, basically, to be able to play Yeah, everywhere? I would like to have a two, you know, <laughs> a little bit taller, but his mum and dad don't give him this attribute. Uh, but, uh, yeah, he solved it for another aspects. He always wants the ball. He's so intelligent defensively. He's aggressive one against one. And, uh, yeah, he played one of the best wingers in the, in the league in Europe and always has played. In 11. Of course, for the condition, physical could play more in the central positions, the midfield players, you know, for his dynamic intelligence. He arrived in the final third for many things. But, you know, defensively, always, he's a, he's a really, really good defender. Hi, Pat. Um, you obviously play loads of massive games against the top teams every season. How many of those do you think you go into thinking of playing pragmatically? from a tactical perspective? Well, yeah, all the time. We are so pragmatic as a team, look the results. The people think you have a build-up, have a lot of passes, or maybe no good long balls or transition, we are not pragmatic. Pragmatic? We are the best team in the world being pragmatic. Look at the numbers. We won a lot. No, because at the end, being pragmatic, what does it mean? Related in results, right? Not in uh, how beautiful football and this kind of stuff. I don't believe in that. I believe in being pragmatic. And we believe in the way we play, we are unbelievably pragmatic. The best, I would say, I'm sorry. That is the truth. And the, obviously the home, the home record's been amazing since throughout your time here. But previously there's been, there have been results like the Leicester game and the Wolves game, the United game, where you, you've lost quite dramatically. Yeah. But that's not, not happened over the last two or yeah. three years. What, what have you done to eradicate yeah, maybe, those? Maybe you're right. Maybe it's not going to happen on Sunday, but you're right. The game against Inter sometimes in the previous season to create crazy, to score, score, score. At the end, the chances we have in the last minute, we were solid, quite solid. So, uh, Inter and Milan, I faced a team like never faced in many, many years, like being so, so deep, we were able to make a transition. We were so deep, it's difficult to make a transition. We were so deep, it's impossible for a long ball to run 40 meters. This is not contra-attack. Have to be a previous passes, a previous dribblings. When they are there and you are present, transition in two seconds, three seconds, they were at Barella, Chanaloglo, all in one to have the ball, make tac tac, dribble, dribble, but turn it up and after they run. I never seen a team like that and make a software being good. We were good and would set to avoid these transitions, but they were able. That's why sometimes I say when this happened, give me credit to enter the Milan, not because we were wrong. And you're right when sometimes when we were there, we came crazy, we lose the control, transition, and lose 0 1, 0 2. The games against, I would say, against, against uh, Leicester, what happened 2 6 or 1 6, I don't remember, or 2 5, and now one was in the early moments of the season. I don't think it was in the, maybe United, I don't know which game you, you are thinking about it, but normally when arrive in January, February, I think we will know what we're playing for. Sometimes it cannot happen in the beginning of the season, still come from the holidays, come from still we are sometimes a bit naive or but yes, so this come of games so our expecting goals against Inter was much, much higher than them. So of course they have a good transition, but more about the quality they have. Still I'm concerned how we can do better, create more chances when teams defend so so deep. This is always my dream, my target. So they've had eight, nine players in the ATR box. Okay, how we had to do it? How way to find a little spaces to do it and with the transitions? Because with the bigger space, everyone has the spaces. Bigger spaces is a space is there and legs. And this, everyone can do it. But when defend so deep, because we are good in the build up and defend away, or because the opponents defend, for example, like Madrid last season, Inter the Milan, the way. 
You know, if we arrive in the final against Madrid and we are not able to go to the penalty, we were not good enough to attack against that team so deep, against Inter. Not good enough we have to create more. And this is what we are looking for. And I think on Sunday, in some moments, it's going to happen how good we can be. That's why always in football, always you have a chance to get better, to get better, to do better. You know, analyze Inter to get better from Arsenal, and Arsenal will get better for Newcastle, or what for Newcastle? Because this is what football provides us, always you can do better. And that's why I say we are here, you know, a part of the titles. We are here because always we can do better, better. Pep, Pep you, you said there that, that you're a pragmatic coach and a pragmatic team, but have you ever set a team up to go and get a nil-nil draw in a, in, a, in, a, in a big game? Have you yeah. ever instructed your players, look, nil-nil is a good result? Sometimes, yeah. When you play shit. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes it's a good result. When the opponent is better, sometimes it's a good result. But I think there are a few managers in the top level, 6-7, that they go to the game thinking, go put 0-0. Zero, zero. You know? But it doesn't mean to be deep or long balls or being here, you are going to play for 0-0. Zero, zero. Never, ever. I don't think. And Mikkel knows that I'm not going to play for 0-0. Zero, zero. I know he's not going to play for 0-0. Zero, zero. But sometimes they defend deep because you are better. And sometimes you create a lot of concede a lot of chances because they are better. And it's not much complicated than that, accept it. You know, it's a, a good way to, as a club, as a team, grow up. That most, For example, the people say, we're going to play a game, no? And, ah, oh, have been a disaster, have been a... No, we are not a disaster. This day, at 4 p.m., start the game, in 90 minutes, the opening was better in that game. That means we are bad. That means if we win, Arsenal is bad. It's in that game, we were better. And happen. Sometimes it's sun, sometimes rain. It's not a big issue. Ah, during the season, you can say, oh, it was a bad season. It was a bad. But the performance says some people, ah, it's a disgrace. It is a, a disaster. It's a, unacceptable. No. During 90 minutes, one bad afternoon, they were better. But I would say, I'm sorry to be sometimes everyone, I want to defend my club, especially in these modern days, like everyone is expecting to be not relegated, to be disappeared of the earth, of the face of the earth, you know, in the, in the world. So uh, I would say that we have better afternoons than the opponents, you know, we had better, better days, better days than the opponents. That's why we win a lot. It's not much complicated to understand that. And could I just ask you, at this stage of the season, for the last few years in particular, opponents, rivals have looked at City to see if there is any lack of hunger to see if you, your team is, is satisfied with what they've achieved. You've won your first four games, you've seen the evidence on the pitch, but what evidence have you the seen The opponents know we're still there. You, have you seen the evidence in training? Ah, I love the way we run in the pressing against Inter. Inter, they're unbelievable in the, in the build-up with Bastoni, Soma. Soma is a quality player with the feet like our keepers. Have unbelievable quality. It's difficult to press with that. And we were so up oh, so good. And afterward, they link with the Turam and Taremi, and after Lautaro, how oh, difficult is win that ball? And Ruben and Manu, they were that unbelievably aggressive. And I still, I see the team, I said, that guys, they surprised me. I am feel amazed, you know, how they still, after many years, they do what still they're doing in every single meme and every single game. And, and, and after we have 25, 20, 30 minutes, like a Brentford destroyed us in 70 possession. It was maybe 0 2, 0 3, probably. The chance that they had to be 0 3, yeah, <laughs> but after, you know, but 25, 30 minutes. But you can have 30 bad minutes, right? And after we make a good rest of the minutes, the second half was really brilliant against, against Brentford. So uh, it's happened. So that's why I'm so optimistic. I'm so pleased with the thing I saw against Inter. In just seeing the game after and you're right after in press conference, because press conference after the game, sometimes you are confused for the emotions, for the for what happened. Sometimes I have to make a, a, an analysis for the game, sometimes I'm wrong. But I don't have that feeling. In that moment, I don't have feeling right now. That's almost Hi, Pep. Talking about the pragmatism, I remember, I think it was your first season when Jose Mourinho was at United and you asked about him being pragmatic. But you said, no, no, we're pragmatic as well. Yeah. But in this country, we are used to it being parking the bus, trying to get a nil-nil draw. But obviously for you, you can be pragmatic in a different way. Because it's not about the, the result, is it? It's about the plan. So for you, what is, what is 
a city pragmatic performance? What does it look like for you to be pragmatic? Starting 95 minutes, the defender have to, the opponents have to defend in their box. This is what I want. Do you know why? Because the ball is far, far, far away from Ederson and Stefan and Scotty for our keeper. When the ball is closer to my goal, now I am trembling. And they can see the contrast, like, yeah, that can happen. But I prefer when the ball is there. For me, that is being, to be in, in terms of pragmatic. So, but I, I, if I, I would believe, I said many times from nine years here altogether. So I would believe to be in setbacks for a long, long, long time, long, long, long time there. there. And after make one transition, score a goal, I swear to God, I would do it. I would do it. I want to win desperately, desperately. I live better, and everybody's happier, and everything is much, much better. I completely believe. And when I defend deeper, deeper, and that because long balls with Hubbard, we don't win, and they attack quick, we have to defend deep. Pfft, what can I say? Because he's taller, the ball for Raya is better, they win the second balls, they go too good to the second ball, we have to defend deep, we have to. We have to. I don't want it, but we have to. So the, the uncomfortable things, you have to do it. But so when the people say, no, Pep, you just talk about how beautiful, and no, no, no. Not even in my periods in Barcelona, not at all. So so I, I can talk that to being pragmatic. There's no manager better in pragmatic than me. I'm sorry. We want more. We want more. Being in that way. So how should, should I change? So it's difficult for me to change it because the results are there. For the money, yeah, of course, yeah. For many things, yeah, of course. But the results are there. So that's why we are continuing to do it. And try to, in this idea, get, get, getting better. So always we can do better even in that way. You know, knowing that the opponents count. So if you let them, Arsenal, you let them play, you are said that, they make a build up. They allow time to come, or Timber, or Alex, or whatever, the player there, to make a structure in the middle, how move good in the pocket. You are good pressing long balls, they win the second balls. And they drop you. In the final third, they have the ability to play 1,000 million passes and find the pockets and find the right space. If they can run, they can run Martinelli, Saka, Odegaard, uh, Trozard, and whatever. So they are top team because all the departments that the team has to be solid, they do it. They do it. They are good in that. But at the same time, we are good too. So we have to try to, our strength, you know, do it and, and avoid the, and create the weaknesses uh, of the opponent. Thank you, guys. Okay, thank you.